Hello, my name is Dr. Clark. I'm the in-house nutritionist. I understand you made your appointment today because you're looking to get into a more healthy lifestyle, set some goals, get back into exercising, and create more of a healthy meal plan. Great. So I do have a questionnaire here. A uh, few things I need to ask about you. Some personal information regarding your health so we can get into your nutrition plan. So let's begin. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Your age? 29? Your height, 5'4", uh, your weight, okay. What would you say is your activity level on a day-to-day -day basis? Would you say you are moderately active, extremely active, or not active at all? Moderate? How many times a week would you say you engage in uh, intense exercise? Anything that gets your heart rate up? How many times a week would you say you do that? Once? All right. What is your medical history? Is there anything important that I need to note on the file here? Do you have any conditions? Asthma? Okay. Anything else? Just that? Okay. How many hours a day would you say do you spend watching television? Two hours a day? Okay. Would you say that you've ever felt depressed or sad in recent months? No? What is your stress level on a daily basis? From a scale of 1 to 10, where is your stress level at? 7? It's pretty high. Okay. Would you say that it's work related, home related, or something else? You'd say it's work related? What is your job? You work at a bank? Okay. How many hours of sleep do you get on an average weeknight? Six? Six and a half? Okay. What do you do in your spare time? What do you do for fun? See friends and family. What else? Read? Watch TV? Good. Do you consume any caffeinated products? Coffee and black tea? How much do you consume? Every day? Basically every day? Okay. Do you smoke cigarettes or consume alcohol? Occasionally? Both? Okay. Are you a social smoker or just socially? Okay. What would you say describes a typical breakfast for you on a work day? Mm -hmm. So you start with some coffee. Do you take milk with it? What kind? Half and half? 
and then some toast. Do you put any sort of topping on it? Butter? Okay. What kind of toast? Whole wheat, white toast, or rye toast? Rye toast? Okay. How about lunchtime? What would be a standard lunch for you on a work day? A sandwich? What kind? Usually turkey and cheese? What kind of cheese? American? Okay, what else? A snack after that? Alright. What kind of snack? Usually some cookies or crackers. Depends on the day. Alright. about dinner time? I know this can vary a lot, but let's say last night, what was your dinner? Pasta? Was there any kind of sauce on it? With tomato sauce? And some bread? And some salad? And you had a glass of wine? Alright. Good. Anything else? After dinner, you had some chocolate pudding? Okay. Great. Thank you so much for answering all those questions. Um, next, I do want to go over with you some basics for creating a healthy lifestyle and food plan. I see your goal here is to lose 15 pounds and to just be healthier overall and gain some energy back. I do see an absence of fruit and vegetables, which is really important that we add that in. Um, that's the most important aspect of attaining a healthy lifestyle is having a well-balanced diet that includes fruits and vegetables and all the foods that are going to keep your body going. So I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about some superfoods that I'm going to add to your diet plan. We are going to be writing you a full plan uh, with meal suggestions and these are some of the items that are going to be included so I just want to let you know about them. So the first one are blueberries and other berries. Uh, really really important for your diet. Um, they contain antioxidants and fiber and they really keep your body going on a daily basis. The goji berry is another berry. It contains 500 times more vitamin C than an orange. Another berry that I want to recommend for you is the acai berry, which contains 10 to 30 times the amount of antioxidants as one glass of red wine. You can put berries into your cereal, you can put them into smoothies, um, you can carry them in a little to-go bag with you to work. I think this would be a really good snack replacement for you as opposed to salty crackers or sweet cookies. Uh, the natural sugars in the berries will give you energy and are much healthier. So that's my first recommendation. Next, I want to recommend coconut. Um, both the juice and the oil. You can cook with coconut oil as opposed to heavier oils. Um, you can use coconut oil in place of butter as well when you're cooking. I do that. I think it works out really well. It's delicious and it's healthy. Um, coconut water has electrolytes and minerals that help your body move energy around so it gets to all of your cells. And coconut oil is a really good fat that helps to rebuild your cell membrane. So that's another item that's going to be on the recommended list for you. Next, I want to talk about avocado. Um, definitely a superfood. Um, I hope you like avocado. Do you like it? You do. Okay, great. Um, avocados have essential fatty acids that help rebuild cell membranes. They also have vitamin A, folate, and fiber. 
Um, avocados are extremely filling, they're tasty, and they have minimal calories, so you get a lot of bang for your buck out of an avocado. And you can make a sandwich out of it, you can use it in salad, you can even put it into smoothies. It thickens a smoothie, you don't even hardly taste it. It's really good for you. Next, um, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are super delicious. They are a member of the dark orange veggie family, and which means they pack in a lot of vitamin A, just like carrots. I'm going to recommend that you substitute any um, baked potatoes, white potatoes, with sweet potatoes, um, which have vitamin C, calcium, and potassium as well. And they're delicious, so I think that this is going to be a good switch for you to make, going from a baked potato with, say, butter on it, going to sweet potatoes. I do recommend, um, before you add any butter, sugar, maple syrup to that sweet potato, taste it first, and you'll see that it has a really strong natural sweetness, and it doesn't really need any additional sugar, butter, anything like that. It's really good is plain. Um, a few additional recommendations that we're going to make for you for your diet plan are uh, salmon, quinoa, lentils, beans, nuts, soy milk, kale, barley, unflavored yogurt, dark chocolate, and soy based ice cream. Um, I'm a firm believer that you do not have to give up, um, you know, sweets if you are going on a healthy regimen. You can still have them. It's just a matter of selecting the right things and choosing carefully. Uh, Soy-based ice cream is better than, let's say, whole milk-based ice cream. Uh, it has less fat, um, and it's still just as tasty. So we're going to recommend the soy ice cream for you. And we're going to recommend dark chocolate bars. Um, I would recommend at least 60 to 70 percent cacao in the chocolate bar because it's going to have less sugar, it doesn't contain dairy, and dark chocolate contains antioxidants for your health. I also have here um, some protein powder, this one right here. This is just a regular uh, multiple vitamin and mineral protein powder. Um, this has 50 vitamins, minerals, and whole food amino acids. It also has antioxidants. It's vegetarian. It contains no animal products. You can take uh, two tablespoons of this and put it right into um, your soy milk. You can also dissolve it into a smoothie or you can put it in water, whatever you prefer. It's tasteless. Um, odorless and it will give you the energy that you need. So uh, again looking at your your meals that you've been eating you are really missing out on the fruits and vegetables so at breakfast time I want to recommend that instead of rye toast we're going to switch you to whole wheat toast and instead of putting butter on that we're going to have you put either some vegan butter on there or some natural sugar-free jam. And we're gonna add one piece of whole fruit to your breakfast. It can be whatever fruit you like. It can be a cup of strawberries, a medium-sized orange, a whole banana, kiwi, um, whatever your preference is. We're gonna add one piece of whole fruit to your breakfast every single day. If you prefer it to be in smoothie form, we can do that as well. Just make sure you're not adding any sugar or anything to it. Just fruit and water, or just fruit and plain yogurt, or fruit and some sort of milk product. Um, Want to add more veggies and fruit to your lunch and dinner as well. Any other questions? Any questions at all? Again, my name is Dr. Clark. I'd be happy to answer them. And I believe our next meeting is scheduled for next week. We'll see how this, uh, this small change in your diet plan went. So I'll see you next time. Take care.